Hello, I'm Emma. Before I continue, please like and subscribe to follow my journey. Growing up, my older sister Jessica was my world. We shared everything, from our favorite dolls to our deepest secrets. I looked up to her, admiring her confidence and grace. She was my protector, my confidant, and my best friend. Emma, come here. I want to show you something, Jessica called out one sunny afternoon. I raced to her room, excited as always to see what she had in store. Look what I found in mom's closet, she whispered, pulling out a beautiful locket. It's been passed down through generations of women in our family. I gasped, reaching out to touch the delicate gold chain. It's beautiful, Jess. One day it'll be yours, she said. But for now, it's our little secret, okay? That moment cemented our bond. As we grew older, our connection only strengthened. We supported each other through first crushes, heartbreaks, and the ups and downs of high school. When Jessica got engaged, I was overjoyed to be her maid of honor. I can't wait to stand beside you on your big day, I told her, hugging her tightly. Me neither, Em. You're the only one I'd want by my side, she replied, her eyes shining with happiness. But as the wedding approached, something changed. Jessica became distant, her warmth replaced by a coolness I couldn't understand. I tried to brush it off, thinking it was just wedding stress. One day, while helping her with wedding preparations, I noticed her giving me strange looks. Is everything okay, Jess? I asked, concerned. She hesitated before speaking. Emma, have you lost weight? I smiled, proud of my recent health journey. Yeah, I've been working out and eating better. Do you notice a difference? Her face tightened. You look... different. Thanks, I guess, I replied uncertainly. As the weeks passed, Jessica's comments became more frequent and pointed. She'd make offhand remarks about my clothes or how I styled my hair. It was subtle at first, but soon I couldn't ignore the underlying tension. Then came the day that shattered everything. We were at her final dress fitting and I was trying on my bridesmaid dress. Emma, Jessica said, her voice strained. I think, I think it might be better if you step down as maid of honor. I froze, certain I had misheard. What? Why? She couldn't meet my eyes. It's just, you look so different now. I'm worried you might overshadow me on my big day. Her words hit me like a physical blow. I stood there stunned as the sister I thought I knew continued to speak her words blurring together as my mind tried to process what was happening. In that moment, I realized that the unbreakable bond I thought we shared had been fractured by something I never saw coming, my sister's own insecurities. As I looked at Jessica, I no longer saw my protector and best friend. Instead, I saw a stranger, and I wondered if I had ever truly known her at all. Jessica's words echoed in my mind for days after that dress fitting. I felt lost betrayed by the one person I thought would always have my back. Despite the hurt, I couldn't bring myself to completely cut ties with her. After all, she was still my sister, and I held onto a glimmer of hope that we could mend our relationship. As the wedding day drew nearer, I decided to take a step back from the preparations. I figured giving Jessica her space might help ease the tension between us. It wasn't easy watching from the sidelines as my sister planned what should have been our shared dream. But I convinced myself it was for the best. Are you sure you're okay with this, Emma? My mom asked one evening, concern etched on her face. I forced a smile. It's fine, Mom. It's Jessica's day, after all. But deep down, I was far from okay. The rift between us seemed to grow wider with each passing day and I couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to Jessica's behavior than she was letting on. It was during a family gathering, just weeks before the wedding, that I finally got my answer. I was helping in the kitchen when I overheard Jessica and Mom talking in the next room. Curiosity got the better of me, and I found myself inching closer to the door, straining to hear their conversation. I just can't stand it anymore, Mom. Jessica's voice trembled. Emma's always been the star of the family. Everyone loves her, praises her. And now, with her weight loss, she's more beautiful than ever. I feel like I'm living in her shadow. I froze. 
unable to believe what I was hearing. My own sister, jealous of me? It seemed impossible. Honey, that's not true, Mom soothed. You're both wonderful in your own ways. You don't understand, Jessica continued, her voice rising. I felt this way for years. That's why I asked her to step down as maid of honor. I couldn't bear the thought of her outshining me on my wedding day. The words hit me like a physical blow. All this time, Jessica's jealousy had been eating away at our relationship, and I'd been completely oblivious. The weight of this revelation settled on my shoulders, heavy and suffocating. As I listened to Jessica pour out her insecurities to our mother, a mix of emotions swirled within me. Anger, hurt, disbelief. But most of all, a profound sadness. How could the sister I loved and admired harbor such deep-seated resentment towards me? In that moment, I realized that the bond I thought we shared had been built on shifting sands. Jessica's jealousy had been eroding it for years, and now it was crumbling before my eyes. I quietly slipped away from the door, my mind reeling. This wasn't just about the wedding anymore. This was about years of hidden feelings and unspoken truths. As I made my way back to the kitchen, I knew that things between Jessica and me would never be the same. That night, as I lay in bed staring at the ceiling, I made a decision. I couldn't continue to let Jessica's insecurities dictate my happiness. It was time to stand up for myself, to break free from the toxic dynamic that had been poisoning our relationship for far too long. With a heavy heart but a newfound resolve, I began to formulate a plan. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I owed it to myself, and to the true spirit of sisterhood, to bring the truth to light. Little did I know, the path I was about to embark on would change everything. The days following my discovery were a whirlwind of emotions and careful planning. I knew I couldn't confront Jessica directly. She'd only deny everything and paint me as the jealous sister. No, I needed a way to expose the truth that would leave no room for doubt. That's when I thought of Lily our cousin who had always been close to both of us. If anyone could help me navigate this minefield, it was her. I called her up and asked to meet, my heart pounding as I prepared to share my burden. Emma, what's going on? Lily asked as we sat down at a quiet cafe. You sounded upset on the phone. I took a deep breath and began to explain everything. Jessica's behavior, what I'd overheard, and how lost I felt. Lily listened intently, her expression growing more concerned with each word. I can't believe Jessica would do that, she said when I finished. But Emma, what do you want to do about it? I need to expose the truth, I replied, my voice stronger than I felt. Not to hurt Jessica, but to finally bring everything into the open. Will you help me? Lily nodded without hesitation. Of course. What's your plan? Together, we crafted a strategy that would force Jessica to confront her actions at the rehearsal dinner. It was risky, but I knew it was necessary. As the day approached, my nerves were on edge, but I held on to my resolve. The rehearsal dinner arrived, and the restaurant buzzed with excited chatter. I sat quietly, watching Jessica laugh and smile, playing the role of the blushing bride. If only they knew the truth, I thought. As dessert was served, Lily stood up, clinking her glass for attention. I'd like to propose a toast, she announced, her voice carrying across the room. To Jessica, a beacon of strength and grace. And to Emma, she continued, turning to me, whose unwavering support for her sister, even in the face of personal sacrifice, is truly admirable. The room fell silent. I could see Jessica's smile falter as Lily went on. It must have been difficult, Emma, when Jessica asked you to step down as maid of honor, but your grace in handling it speaks volumes about your character. All eyes turned to me, then to Jessica, whose face had drained of color. The tension in the room was palpable. What is Lily talking about? Jessica's fiancé asked, confusion evident in his voice. I stood up slowly, my heart racing. Jessica asked me to step down because she was jealous of my appearance. I said, my voice surprisingly steady. She was afraid I would outshine her on her wedding day. Gasps and murmurs filled the room. Jessica's eyes darted around, panic setting in as she realized she was cornered. 
that's not true, she protested weakly. Emma, how could you say such things? But her denial rang hollow. The truth was written all over her face. I heard you, Jess, I said softly. I heard you tell mom about your jealousy, about how you felt overshadowed by me for years. And I'm sorry you felt that way, but I can't stand by and let your insecurities hurt me anymore. The room erupted into chaos. Some family members expressed shock and disappointment in Jessica, while others tried to defend her. Through it all, I stood my ground, finally free from the weight of Jessica's unspoken resentment. As the night came to a close, I left feeling both drained and liberated. The truth was out, and there was no going back. Whatever happened next, I knew I had done the right thing by standing up for myself. The fallout from the rehearsal dinner was swift and far-reaching. Our family was divided, with some rallying around Jessica and others expressing their support for me. The wedding itself was a tense affair, overshadowed by the revelations of the night before. I attended as a guest, keeping my distance from Jessica and the bridal party. As I watched her walk down the aisle, I felt a mix of sadness and relief. The sister I thought I knew was gone, but in her place was the truth. Painful as it was. In the days and weeks that followed, the family dynamics shifted dramatically. Jessica, humiliated by the exposure of her actions, made several attempts to apologize to me. Emma, please, she begged during one such attempt. I'm so sorry. I never meant for things to go this far. But I couldn't accept her apology, not yet. I'm sorry too, Jess, I replied, but trust isn't easily rebuilt. I need time. The consequences of Jessica's actions extended beyond our relationship. Many family members and friends, shocked by her behavior, began to distance themselves from her. Her reputation, once sterling, was now tarnished by her jealousy and deceit. While Jessica faced the social ramifications of her actions, I focused on rebuilding my life and self-esteem. I threw myself into my work, started volunteering at a local community center, and strengthened my relationships with the family members who had stood by me. Lily became an even closer confidant during this time. You're so much stronger than you know, Emma, she told me one day as we walked through the park. Look at how far you've come. And she was right. With each passing day, I felt more confident, more sure of myself. The pain of Jessica's betrayal was still there, but it no longer defined me. One crisp autumn afternoon, Jessica reached out to me again. This time, instead of an apology, she asked if we could meet to talk. Against my better judgment, I agreed. We met at the park where we used to play as children. Jessica looked different, subdued, but somehow more genuine than I'd seen her in years. Emma, she began, her voice trembling slightly. I know I've hurt you deeply, and I don't expect forgiveness. But I want you to know that I'm working on myself, trying to be better. I miss my sister. I listened silently, searching her face for any sign of the jealousy that had torn us apart. Instead, I saw remorse and a glimmer of hope. It's going to take time, Jess, I replied honestly. A lot of time. But I'm willing to try if you are. Here's how you might present the story in your video, including the question to encourage interaction. And that concludes our story. But before you go, I have a question that I hope will spark some thought and discussion. How do you handle jealousy from someone close to you when their actions hurt you deeply? Can relationships truly heal after such betrayals? Or is trust forever broken? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked the story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to reading your insights. This approach directly engages your audience with a deep, controversial question that relates closely to the story's themes, encouraging them to interact while subtly reminding them to support your channel.